right, guys, we're going to talk about making a travel brochure. Um, and so this will be a great uh, kind of mini video uh, tutorial series on making websites. And so we're going to go over one way of doing it. Um, this is going to be a travel brochure for my web design students. I started by creating a folder for my travel brochure. I put it right in my student folder and I called it Mordor Travel Brochure. So that's what I'm going to make mine on. And you're welcome to do your own travel brochure, fictional or or actual locations, your choice. So in that folder, I, you will see I have an images folder. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a web page to be our home page. And before we do that, I just want to remind you, Microsoft does some pretty uh, annoying things. And one of them is if you were to create a file, let's say, for example, I'm going to create a new text file. And you'll note many times in a Windows environment, you'll just see new text document and nothing to the right of it. No .txt. Yet on the side, it says it's a text document. Why is that, and how do we stop that annoying little habit of Windows? Well, under Organize, there is Folder and Search Options. So you click Organize, Folder, Search Options. If you haven't done this before, do this now. And you'll see General View Search. You click on View. And it's this little annoying checkbox that says Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Don't do that. And now you'll see, oh, there it is, .txt. So we can now change this file to anything we want. Now, if you don't do that and you don't see a .txt, you got to be careful because you don't set it up right. It might, you might have the following happen. Maybe you go to create your document and you see your teacher or you see some video saying, save it as .txt, and you're like, oh, okay, I better add that .txt. Good. Phew, I got my .txt there. But... For some strange reason, you forgot that you had that not showing. And then later on, if you go here and you were to uncheck that hide extensions for known file types, you will see that in reality, it was actually .txt, .txt, because it was hiding it before. And we don't like that. Very annoying. All right, that all being said, I recommend you just right click on a text document, click edit with notepad plus plus, and then say, just rename it while you're there. The beauty of this is I create my document before I even edit anything. And so I know it's in the right location. So I'm going to call it index because it's a home page dot HTML. I add the dot HTML and I click save. And now we go back to the folder and now it's a web page and it will work as a web page because it's dot HTML. Now, the other thing you should be aware of, and this is a really important technique here on Notepad++, if you want to save a little effort, go to Settings, Preferences, and go to Auto Completion. It will complete things for you. Notice what I have checked here. My parentheses, if I do an open parentheses, it will close it. If I do an open bracket, it will close it. If I do an open curly bracket, it will close it. This is really good for when you're doing CSS, I'll tell you that. And then double quotes, okay? The only thing I don't have checked is the single quote, and that's because if I use the word don't or it's or whatever, I don't want to have two of them appear. And then I check HTML, XML, close tag. Very important here. Watch what happens when I do HTML. It closes it for me. So that's a very good technique. All web pages, though, need to ta start with the doc type. So go ahead and add doc type HTML. And then it's going to close it for you. That's annoying, but you can deal with that. Just delete it. Because you don't ever have to close a doc type. Then create your HTML. Set the language to English. See what happens? The moment I did that opening quotation mark, it already closed it. And I just had to type in EN. Isn't that nice? And then go ahead and create a head. Hit enter. Go down a line. Create a body. Isn't that nice? We're just saving all kinds of time here. Uh, first tag after the head should be a meta tag. The care set equals, note, double quotes, UTF dash eight. Space slash like so. Add your title. And in this one, it's the Mordor. You come up with your own travel brochure. I can't wait to see the sites. 
Next, we're going to do another little thing here. You're going to actually link to a style sheet. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll wait on the link just yet. Let's go to the body. Um, certain structure, I recommend you do. Now, this is not entirely, uh, it's not the only way to do this. But one of the things I recommend you do is create a div that surrounds everything. I'm going to give it a class of wrapper. Which is just going to wrap around everything and allow us to add an additional style. We're going to use it to center our content, set the width, and possibly do other styles. Everything's going to be tabbed over inside so we know it's inside of the wrapper. And we're going to create a new tag called the header. The header is for header information. So things like your header one, which is the title of your assignment. So on here, we're going to give it, sorry, more door, travel brochure. By the way, if some of you are already planning on doing it, you might want me to change so I don't ruin it for you all. We're going to put a little tag inside. We're going to do what's called a tagline. And we're going to make it a paragraph tag. But in it, we're going to give it a class. We're going to give it a special uh, purpose. We're repurposing this paragraph to be a tagline. Okay, so this paragraph will serve as a tagline and will allow us to style it differently. So it took me a while to think about what my tagline is going to be, and I finally came up with this. It's so hot, it's cool. And of course, I would like you, if you're going to be doing your own sort of travel brochure, why don't you come up with your own tagline for it? Okay, so we'll call it the, that, and then we're going to add a, two more pieces to this uh, in this part, and we'll begin filling it out. The next thing I want to do, uh, by the way, in the future, we're going to add a navigation bar into the header, but for now, we're going to wait on that. Um, after the header, we're going to create an article, and we're going to give this a class of content. So we are taking this article, and we're making it the kind of article that has content in it. So it's like the main content. And then finally, we're going to end with the footer like so okay uh, a couple of things that we're going to go ahead and put into article let's go ahead and put a header two inside and then a uh, subtopic one okay and we're just going to leave that there for now maybe we can add some paragraphs and some other things too uh, on our footer we can choose to make a paragraph or we can leave it we can put text directly in the footer if we want i'm going to put a paragraph in here um, created by, I'm going to put 100 visions guy. And then we're going to do a little copyright symbol, which is the ampersand copy semicolon. And we're going to put this year. And that's 2015. And then maybe we can add a hyperlink around here, uh, etc. and save your changes. So the header, of course, is for information about the topic, such as title and other related information. And so it's an appropriate tag to put your banner. And we can style this up so that it looks a certain way. Then we're going to have an article, which article is designed for anything that can be published in and of itself. So like it's like an independent article having everything it needs. So that's what your article is going to be about. So the majority of your content goes in here. And then finally, the footer, of course, is information you know, about it, such as credits and things like that. So we stick all this stuff in the footer. And so this is going to be the structure of the travel brochure. And what, what we're going to do is that once we have the header nailed down with the nav bar and we've got the footer nailed down, those will stay the same on all of our pages. And then we're going to proceed to make uh, four pages in all of this travel brochure. And so we'll break it up into different topics, and then each page will have an article, and that's where the majority of the content, including paragraphs, links, images, and other things related to each individual section of the website. So this will be a good start, uh, and then on our next tutorial, we'll fill in a little more HTML, and then we'll start styling it. Thank you.